All right, y'all, so I'm back again with another video. You already know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep your energy up. Like, what you talking about, bro? You know what I'm saying? If we hold on to our energy, bro, we hold on to our seed, bro. God, life, force, energy, bro. Like, of course, we're going to be out here. We're going to be in the matrix, and we're going to be dominating, bro. And when we dominate, it's going to be to a level where, you know, people don't even know what the hell is going to be going on. Like, they're going to be like, oh, shit, shit's happening and shit. And, like, they don't even understand why. And not knowing like it has a little bit to do or a lot of bit to do with what you got going going on as far as like the magnetism and what is uh, permeating off of your body type shit. You feel me? When you retain your energy, dog, like for real, this should get this should get real. It get real. But you have to understand at the end of the day, you know, you are your uh, you are the creator as far as like the creator of your own reality. You know what I'm saying? You can't depend on the matrix. You can't depend on people to quote unquote make you feel happy, make you feel validated, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. A lot of times, people be in the matrix, not even knowing that. They be like, oh yeah, I'm woke. I don't do this. I'm, I don't depend on that. I don't depend on that. And then low key, they be dependent on this. They be dependent on that. You feel me? Whether it's, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever the hell y'all be on. You feel me? So this is what I noticed on my retention journey. Especially, uh, this in this brand new energy, this brand new month, like I realized that, uh, you know, if you want pretty much if you want to see change in your life, bro, like you have to be the initiator, you got to be the one to start shit, dog. Like it's just that simple, man. People be waiting on the world, or they be waiting on people to like, you know, what I'm saying, do shit to like show them the way and show them the light, and that's cool. And I'm not saying that you should not, like, you know. You know, even if I drop a video and I'm, you know, I may drop, be dropping some jewels or whatever. Sometimes I I don't consciously say I'm going to drop some jewels. Like it just be, you feel me? Because I'll be tapped in with the, you know, infinite intelligence. But I'm just saying like, you don't necessarily have to wait on like a Moody Star video to drop. Like you can get up and start some shit, bro. And you can do it in a positive light, of course. You know what I'm saying? In a way where it's aligned with your frequency. But just understand like, Nothing's really going to start without you, dog. Like, as far as, like, the change in your life. You know, I I catch myself sometimes. Before, I know I used to be super dependent on, you know, notifications. Okay? Notifications, bro. And this shit get down. It, like, when you break it down to, like, a, a simple science, uh, ad addiction runs deep. You feel me? It's not just uh, uh, eating, drinking, or just even necessarily having sex, but the endorphin high. You feel me? The, the endorphin hits that people get, you know, when they get a new text message or they get a new, no uh, new notification from, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you be on. It could be a motherfucker just reacting to a post and they probably not even saying shit to you. But like, for some reason... That that's a that's a little dopamine hit, you feel me? And I'm catching myself, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like I'm like, damn. I go because every single day is the it, you know what I'm saying? It's like every day is the same, but it's just slightly different, you know. But it's based on how I perceive that day and what I do during that day. But as far as like everything else, like People just be machines for real. People be programmed. So, like, it just be, like, crazy, right? So, at times, right, I'd be chilling throughout the day. When I look at my phone, I'd be like, damn, okay. You know, my favorite person that I'm talking to, you know what I'm saying? She probably hit me up, so I'm in, her, I'm in the phone. I'm texting, whatever, you know? And then probably, you know, I'm getting notifications from, you know, YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm like, oh, shit, I'm checking my comments and shit. I'm like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Going through the day. And, like subconsciously with me i'm thinking like okay my day is lit because people hit me up or i'm just seeing people react to shit or you know i feel like and this is and this is this, this is what happens with technology and shit bro it kind of it's 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 connected us in some ways but it but it's also disconnected us in other ways you feel me so you know i'm looking at my phone and shit i'm like cool you know shit's lit now, mind you, again, every day is the same, you know what I'm saying? And this is, I think this happened yesterday, you know, I went to work type shit. So every day is the same, but it's slightly different based off of like how I perceive it and how I move about it. So I'm feeling myself literally changed, dog. This literally fit, this whole week, this whole month starting to feel like one day. Okay. So anyway, I realize 
I'm like, damn, this shit popping. You know what I'm saying? My notifications blowing up. This, that, and third, you know, texting my girl or whatnot. And you know what I'm saying? We and 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 even with this is why this is why it's very important, bro. Like, um, you gotta make sure that it's not an addiction to just the phone and notifications. You feel me? And that's why, like, even, like, computer love and shit like that, like, bro, the shit, it's just weird. When you got to FaceTime your chick, bro, the FBI and everybody else and their mama is watching you every time you FaceTime. The, somebody, like, you feel me? So it's like, ain't even no real, like, privacy like that no more type shit. But anyway, um, everything happens in waves. Remember what I just said earlier, two minutes ago? I was like, damn, my phone blowing up, whatever, you know, I'm texting up. The endorphins and my brains is my brain is going up brains. Like I got multiple brains, I do. But like it's going off, right? The second that the second that like the shift changes, because it's this shit been happening the past couple of days, but it'll it'll be a moment in time where everybody's either hitting me up, texting me. I'm getting all these notifications. I'm just like, damn, this shit is almost kind of overwhelming a little bit. Like, nigga, let me put the phone down. Some time passes. You know, I'm working. I finished my job. Now I got some, some you know, quote unquote, sit down time. You know, shit, I can check my phone. I can check my notifications. There's going to be a moment in time where nobody is hitting me up. I mean, no, no notifications, no text message, no nothing. And I'm like, looking at my phone like, see, this is how motherfuckers be clout chasing and shit like that. You feel me? When a month, like, pretty much it's the endorphin hit that niggas be getting type shit. Like, oh, the, the, the rush from getting a thousand likes or a hundred million views or whatever. You feel me? It's, it gives it. That's what happens. That's what niggas do. I'm I'm thinking, I'm like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Nobody hit me up. Now I'm looking at my realm of reality. And I'm looking, I know how my day is playing out because I know what's going to happen type shit. Again, it's just how I feel. And this is why you have to be very intuitive and be connected with how you feel. Always listen to how you feel and pay attention to your soul. Pay attention to your soul. Your soul, pay attention. I'm going to make a separate video about that. Like how your soul, I can, I can know, I can tell when my soul is speaking versus like, you know, my, my body, the, the ego, the moody star, whatever you feel me. So it gets to a point where nobody's hit me up and now I feel the top weight and I'm looking at my reality. I'm like, damn, that's cool. And it's not necessarily me wanting people to hit me up because that shit get annoying, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, sometimes you be in your phone, you be on YouTube, you just want to listen to some shit. I ain't trying to, no offense to y'all, but this is my me time to get some information from somewhere else. You feel me? So I don't always want, you know, the notifications and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's funny how things happen in waves. You feel me? It's either going to go, everybody going to be all in your shit. Or like nobody's going to be around, especially in the moments when you need them. In the moments that you need them, when you just need a person to talk to or a person just to, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, you feel me? Uh, just to communicate with because there's going to be moments in time again where you understand the matrix. You understand how the cycle is happening and how everybody is literally sometimes almost doing the same shit. You are vibrating at a different frequency. So you're not align you're not all the way aligned with everybody else this is why you wake up at three o'clock in the morning or two two fifty five in the morning or some shit or five o'clock and nobody like you have nobody to talk to this is why you have to go within this is why you have to start meditating this is why you have to start actually talking to yourself become your best friend that ass serious like it's all it's really all about you type shit you feel me like that's what it come down to at the end of the day when everybody go to, and again even if it's your girlfriend or, or whatever Somebody or your loved one, a family member, whatever. Usually, they're always there for you. They're there to encourage you. There's going to be moments in time where they're not going to be there. And it's not them purposely not trying to be there. It's just the fact that 
this is really you're gonna be in the matrix but at the end of the day you still have to sit with yourself you gotta sit with your thoughts you have to sit with your decision making you have to sit with whoever you choose to be living with if you you know what i'm saying you still gotta deal with their baggage and their energy type shit so understand that you are the initiator that's number one you are the initiator you're gonna get things started you're gonna get things going you know if you're already on your uh, retention journey you know how it is bro you know how it is as far as like getting things started, being the person to be like, you know what, I'm going to take the lead. You know what I'm saying? Being the person that's going to be like, you know, what, I'm going to tap into my God power and, I, and, and, and I'm and i going to make sure I spread. Um, it's a lot of things you can spread. You feel me? Pause. Um, <laughs> like, but make sure I spread positivity type shit. You feel me? Um, and, uh, just stay tapped in, bro. Just be, just live your, live your best life. You know what I'm saying? Live your soul's purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's what it really come down to, dog. Like, shit, you gotta, you gotta be able to have a good relationship with yourself, man. Cause it's not always, it's not always going to be a time where people are going to be there to talk to you and you can, you can riz they ass and none of, no, ain't, nah, nigga, it's you. It's just going to be you and yourself. After that blunt is done, it's going to be you and yourself, bro. After that beer is done, it's going to be you and yourself, bro. After that shift is done, it's going to be you and yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? After anything you do, nigga, after after that, nigga, you're going to have to sit down and be like, damn, nigga, I really just did that. Okay. Now that I have the time and the space to myself, how do I utilize it? You know what I'm saying? How do I get better? You feel me? You just start asking yourself these questions and, and really understand, like, Ain't nothing going to start unless you start it. You got to get up and go. This is a, like today, this is an early video. Um, one thing that I know, because I was asking myself that question and I felt that way. I felt like, damn, bro. Like, and you know what, though, too? Things happen in waves and shit. But I also think that like the powers that be, bro, they also control when you get your notifications, when you get your text messages. I be, I got a, I got an iPhone and an iPad. And sometimes like when I'm texting, you know, whoever, I would get the message on the iPad before I get it on the iPhone. Or, you know, if it's somebody texting me from an Android, I'm not getting that message at all. Type shit. If, if my phone is dead, I'm not getting it. I'm not going to get it on my iPad, obviously. You feel me? Because I message and shit. But like, they be controlling when you get your notifications and shit. Like at Facebook, them motherfuckers ain't slick. Nigga, I be I be on my phone, I be chilling, and then boom, I see a notification saying somebody commented on a on a post. I go to the time that <laughs> cause I always check the time. I be like, oh shit, you oh you reacted to my post, you said something. Let me see when you reacted. Facebook will tell me like as if that shit just happened when really the motherfucker commented 12 hours ago. So like these motherfuckers know how to keep motherfuckers like engaged in this shit, bro. Again, they be playing psychological games on a subtle level, you know what I'm saying? So me, usually when I see the game and I'm like, oh shit, I'm caught up in the game. I'm like, oh shit, nah, fuck that. If I got to sit here and, and and just vibe and just like on some, I don't, I don't give a damn motherfucker call me a crazy person. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm in my house, nigga. I'm vibing, nigga. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to say, nigga, what we doing today? How we coming? You feel me? Create the vibe. A lot of these people that y'all watch on on the internet and everything, when y'all even when y'all look at uh, interviews and shit like that, them shits don't really be that. It really don't be that interesting. But you know what makes it interesting is the fact that the person who's talking has a type of energy and type of vibe, and they know how to manipulate. You know, what I'm saying the sound, of the voice, and how their body language and shit like that. So. A lot of these niggas don't be talking about shit, bro. They don't really be talking about shit, but it's just how they come. It's just how they speak. You feel me? How they perform. You see what I'm saying? So, hey, you, like at the end of the day, they are creating shit. You feel me? They're creating that vibe. They're, they're, they're getting a reaction or emotion out of anybody that might be watching type shit. You feel me? They are creating that shit. So, again, understand like, yo, you can be the creator of your own reality and not have to wait on the matrix. You don't have to be like, oh shit, it always be in your phone. That's what I'm saying, bro. I always keep my shit on do not disturb. 
and silent, nigga, like, shit, I'll get to it when I get to it. You feel me? I, I try to, uh, I, it's, it's a, it's kind of a bad habit, but I know I got a problem, dog. Shit, real shit. I still be stuck in my phone. No cap. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just on some, just on some, you know what I'm saying? Just want to connect with the world type shit. You feel me? And it's weird because we'll be out in social settings still feeling the same way. Nigga, it's a, it's a badass female right next to you. You all in your phone trying to look at some shit that don't, that, that don't mean nothing. Trying to feed that high, man. Hey, people talk about drug addicts and shit like that. The average person, the, the, like, um, I remember in the early 2000s, um, was it early 2000s? In the early 2000s, some about some st statistic that like said that um, by the year 2020, at least 80% of the population in the world should all have cell phones. And this is back when they were talking about like, you know, new world order and all that other bullshit. And, you know, that shit's crazy, dog. How 2023 come around, everybody got a cell phone. You need it to a certain extent. But there's certain things that they do, certain symbols and colors and just patterns that they do, certain sounds, certain tones that they do, that they put within these devices to keep people hypnotized and addicted, bro. And so that's why it's, it's always good to take a step back from social media, take a step back from using your phone and shit like that. And, you know, go outside. You feel me? I'm about to go outside. I'm about to go to the gym. I'm going to just, I'm going to stay active, man. You know, I'm a 90s baby, you feel me? So we used to go outside and riding bikes and playing football in the street. Oh, shit, car coming, got to move out the way type shit, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? We, I, I came from that era where everything seemed a lot more genuine in a sense of a human experience, you feel me? So don't forget to have a human experience. Like, yeah, it's cool to be online and shit like that, but... We, all, we also got to go outside. This is why I like to do a lot of my videos outside. You know, um, I haven't been doing it recently because it's been it's been lit. N niggas is up early, making all type of noise, cutting the grass and shit. I ain't got time for that. So, for now. But I definitely will. Even if I'm not making a video, I'm outside, bro. You feel me? Um, but yeah, man. Just, again, understand that, like, you know, you got to, like... Um, just continue to create and continue to uh you know just recognize the red flags that are that that are that are in the matrix you know recognize just certain things certain patterns you know once you notice that just don't be just don't be like don't act like you are blind to the fact that like you know you you may have an issue or you may have something like you need to work on type shit you know what i'm saying so yeah, that's you shit. I come on this shit. And I, you know, how I like share my experiences. You know, this this does. I become vulnerable to a certain extent. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm super confident as far as like you know pulling through and continuing making these videos and shit. What else I'm finna fucking do? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what else I'm gonna do? You feel me? I'm gonna keep dropping these gems for y'all. And um, again, I'm tap I'm tapped in with the Most High. Tapped in with my soul, tapped in with my spirit. There's a lot of motherfuckers, bro. Right now, this is the soul speaking, actually. Right now, I'm this is not Moody Star, we're not. This is the soul of this being that's speaking right now. I'm telling you right now, this shit. Y'all niggas is crazy. This niggas, this this nigga, this nigga spirit and the powers that be in, in the most hot, them motherfuckers crazy up there too. All y'all niggas got jokes. And then y'all, the viewers, y'all motherfuckers crazy too. Y'all higher selves, funny as hell, because y'all be saying some shit in the comment section and. Me as the soul, I'd be like, hey, that, sh that hit different. I felt that. I actually felt that. So I appreciate the fact that, you know what I'm saying, y'all got that type of energy, you feel me? I appreciate y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying, for being here to all the motherfuckers I can't see right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, But this this is literally the soul speaking right now. But I'm going I'm to give it back to Moody Stock. All right. So, yeah, uh, make sure y'all drink y'all water. Got to take a sip. Intro for the outro. MGT, what to do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT.
This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational here at MTT. This is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. Intro for the outro, bro. Yeah, man, I'm about to hit the gym. Trying to get bigger. Trying to get bigger. We're going to see what's good. We're going to see what's popping. You know, I might start, I might, what I might start doing, I'm a, I'm a, Cause you know, usually I speak from the heart and shit, but I'm gonna start letting my soul, you know what I'm saying? I, I let my soul speak a little bit more. And then also my spirit. Y'all, y'all, y'all hear the spirit in uh in, in, in my voice type shit, but like and then of course Moody Star, which is me, of course, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to MGT, shout out to the MGT OGs, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the new subscribers, the old subscribers, the people that never subscribe, they just come through and watch every so often what this nigga might say shout out to y'all bro i'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video man remember it's all about how you get things started man be the initiator bro peace